sun has been deployed now five times, and uh, it's a very difficult thing. Uh, these guys are in, some of them, some of them are in combat uh, every week or every day. What they have seen and the experiences that they have gone through is just unbelievable at their young age. Uh, the battles that they've had to fight for our nation. And so um, I support anybody that is trying to help these young men and women, uh, especially spiritually. They're seeking out chaplains and other people of faith, uh, asking questions and looking for spiritual answers, particularly as they view the carnage and the, the difficulties of the environment that they're in. For them to have access to the Word of God, for them to have it in a way that allows them at almost any place that they are to be able to hear the Word of God. Uh, and to understand what the Word of God says. This is Ryan Dobson, and I hope you'll consider putting audio Bibles into the hands and hearts of American servicemen and women. Faith Comes by Hearing has given hundreds of thousands of military Bible sticks away through chaplains all over the world, and you can be a part of this very important project. If you would like to make a donation to provide military Bible sticks for our troops, call 1-800-800-2555 or go online at militarybiblestick.com. But to think of these countries, every military person having the scripture, then you wonder in some of these uprisings, if the total attitude of the people who have the guns and the airplanes and the tanks would be different. Communication is key in any military situation. When the lines are disrupted or cut, confusion and misinformation can result. This principle is true at the physical level, but it is also a spiritual truth. Chaplains frequently only get to see someone out there every two weeks, and they have to go in a heavily armored convoy to do it. And it's almost impossible for them to fly to a lot of places. Chad Williams served as a Navy SEAL. His story brings inspiration and illustrates the stress of military service. I remember when I was going through uh, some training where we're practicing to be prisoners of war just in case we didn't eat any food for a whole week. By about the third or fourth day, the hunger is gone. You're not hungry anymore, uh, but you are slowly beginning to deteriorate. You're beginning to die. And the same could be said, spiritually speaking, too. If you're not getting uh, that spiritual food into the Word, and next thing you know, you're drifting so far away uh, from God and His Word that uh, you don't know uh, you know, where you left off. So as far as getting God's Word out there, the Bible into uh, men that are out there on the battlefield, I mean, they're dealing with life and death situations on a daily basis. And all of these young people that are going and the things they have to do and the things they have to see, and this gives them, the Bible stick, gives them an opportunity to hear God's Word privately. I saw these Bible sticks being used by God when I was deployed to Afghanistan. Our men and women in uniform were listening to the Word of God and couldn't get enough of it. Sacrifice is a regular part of life in the armed forces. This is a fact that Chad Williams understands well. SEAL training is known as being the most difficult military training there is in the world, hands down. We started with 173 guys, and by graduation day, there's only 13 uh, of those original guys there that all profess the same thing from the beginning, that will die before we quit. You're woken up by machine guns that are going off by your head as instructors are screaming at you to get into the ocean, and you're getting into that water in the winter time uh, with no wetsuit on whatsoever. Uh, you're freezing cold going through, uh, you know, hypothermia. You cover over 200 miles on your own feet, uh, but that's not your own body weight. That's with a uh, boat on top of your head. The pressure has actually broken guys' necks before, uh, and then there's the hallucinations. The Bible stick, you, can, you guys can have it in his pocket, and then they, they can get ministry 24-7. And then the uh, CEO said, it sounds like you found a chaplain in a box. My mother and I uh, said, how can we help? So we sent 15 military Bible sticks, and um, they used them. Uh, he shared them with the other soldiers that were there. They all would get together and, and listen and pray and use, use the Word as part of their, part of their um, weekly services. 
So he came back very different. Jesus sent the disciples out on that Roman road, and really that road system had been built so that the gospel, for the first time in history, could get to all the different languages and tribes and people. The 21st century Roman road today is technology. In the field, soldiers travel light. Sometimes soldiers are unable to carry Bibles. For those of us who have many Bibles at home, it's difficult to imagine being in a situation without access to scripture. But that's exactly what many soldiers face. My son is not a reader, and so I really wanted him to be able to have this device to be able to hear the New Testament in an audio format. The way that I would see some soldiers cope with the pressure that they face in the service would be, you know, turning to uh, some of the desires of the world. You know, those things, you know, they're going to leave you thirsty for more. They're going to leave you hungry for more. But Jesus Christ, you know, He says that He'll give you that living water and you'll never thirst again. The search is over. Uh, and so there was always that motivation to try and share the gospel with these guys. They weren't like previous generations of warriors. They didn't have magazines and books in their back pockets. And when they had their downtime, they were on their laptops, they were on their smartphones, and uh, they were uh, on their MP3 players. I started to pray and ask God, how can we really reach these kids where they're at? Because I'm not sure just handing out a bunch of paper Bibles was gonna do it. We had three days of fasting and prayer in the ministry, and in that time, we felt like the Lord was talking to us about creating something that would be completely dedicated to Bible listening, nothing else, just to the Bible listening. And uh, we fortunately we had a, an engineer on staff who, he must have a genius IQ in electronics. Uh, he came in two weeks after uh, this three days of fasting and prayer and had a prototype, a working prototype. And I wept. called up Faith Comes By Hearing and said, hey, I'd like to get a whole bunch of your, your CDs and give them out. And they said, well, we got this gadget. Maybe we can do, do something better. They had this Bible stick. It's got the exact same New Testament hard burned into an MP3 player. Runs on a battery, you can stick it in your computer. And, um, and I said, hey, that is, that's wonderful. So I asked them to send me a case. So they sent me a case and I went around and I gave them to um, every single senior leader at the school. And whether they were people of faith or not, every single one of them said, this is great, the troops would love this. We began having military people say, you know, we could use this thing. It, it fits, it fits in our pack and, and we can use this thing. And a lot of young people are not, uh, they're not reading and you're too tired by the end of your maneuvers to, to read. Today, Raul Reese is a pastor and evangelist who serves at a large church and speaks to stadium-sized crusades. But if you knew Raul in the Vietnam War era, you'd find this difficult to believe. I think the most difficult things is having my brothers die, you know, in combat. It's one of those things you become close to a person, and you're, you're living with them day and night, and then all of a sudden, one day you go out and doesn't come back. So then all of a sudden you're thinking of his family, you're thinking of all his friends, and then you're thinking of yourself, how you're not gonna see them again. And I wasn't a believer then. So imagine what it's like when you don't know God and you don't even know where you're gonna go. But as a Christian, you're able to let them know, you know what, this is where I'm going. And Raul understands the ultimate sacrifice that some are called to make. The most difficult thing was when uh, my friend Pete Silva lost his legs and when uh, one of my other friends was blown up and was killed. And then of course the 40 guys that we lost in our platoon. Every testimony that comes from a soldier or a mom thanking somebody who gave, anonymous donor who gave, to provide their son or daughter with the Word of God, that's the best testimony. When their life was changed and they know they're in heaven and they've come home with peace and their family is at peace, those, that's, those are the best testimonies. Listening to the audio Bible really helped me to understand the emotions in the Bible. I can read the words over and over but to hear the words spoken to me really puts it all together. 
One of the things that we've done is we've been very careful to work within the, 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 the requirements the service has and the government has, is that we don't give any of these directly to the military people. They're not to be used for evangelism and, and, and that type of a thing in the countries they're going into. It's for their personal use. And so we give them only to chaplains. And the chaplains then are responsible then to, to give them to the, uh, the troops that they are responsible for. And it was the chaplains that contacted us. And they said, can you provide this in a way that meets all of the military disciplines and the requirements so that my troops can have these before they deploy? Of course, our team got right on it. We produced a unit that's about the size of a pack of gum, fits in their pocket. It meets all the military low-light disciplines, and it allows a soldier then, in a circumstance where they may not be able to read, they're out on patrol, they're in Humvees, they're doing maneuvers, running missions, and in between those times, they have the ability to sit and let God's Word penetrate their heart. I'm a chaplain serving in the Air Force. Thank you for helping us reach this generation of heroes with the gospel. Raul Rees is well aware of the pressure a soldier faces and the encouragement the Bible can bring. It was pretty intense when you go out because you're not only coming out of helicopters, you're walking through the bush, you're up in elephant grass, and you're thinking, well, if, if, if I'm here, where's the enemy? And a lot of times when you were walking through the grass, you would meet your enemy face to face, and that's what, I mean, that's what's stressful. On um, one occasion, I got a contact from Faith Comes by Hearing, and they had three different spouses that wrote in and said, I want my husband to have a Bible stick, but he's a SEAL. He's a special operations guy, and he's over there in an isolated location. He does not have access to a chaplain. It says, can you help? So Faith Comes by Hearing said, can you help? And so. I, you know, I went and found out where these guys were, and uh, I mailed them uh, uh, the Bible stick and signed up the, the spouses for the CDs and the kids. I think that made a huge, huge impact. These guys were, were out there in uh, very isolated, very, uh, um, very rough conditions, and they were able to have that Bible stick with them wherever they went. Friends and those at home can make a difference in the lives of those serving overseas. The military Bible stick format is perfect for soldiers to listen to an audio Bible on base, during a mission, or anytime they're deployed. You know, our young men and women that are serving in Iraq and Afghanistan and, and really in other parts of the world today are coming to grips every day with their mortality. Uh, in many cases, they don't know if they'll you know, live through the day. They are in desperate need of, of uh, spiritual underpinnings, spiritual strength, spiritual awareness. I think you would find that uh, many of them are turning to their faith for the first time in a long time. There are about 1.4 million active people in all of our branches of the service. Well, I'm a kind of a numbers kind of a person, so I said, well, $25 times 1.4 million is $35 million. This is doable. We could have an inventory of these available for all active service people. To give them any kind of device uh, that would encourage them to get into the scripture, to listen to the scripture. Uh, a lot of them uh, have uh, long stints where they're riding in vehicles, uh, where they're um, on patrol and to be able to be able to use those opportunities to study, uh, to hear the Word of God uh, is, is great. The isolated life those in the special forces face shows why access to the comfort an audio New Testament can bring is so necessary. I remember while I was overseas uh, in Iraq, we had some Bibles that were delivered to us. Uh, and none of the guys wanted them. In fact, they you know, gave me the Bibles, the whole box of them. I'm like, hey, preacher boy, you know, you want these things, you can have them. Uh, so I grabbed the Bibles, but it wasn't long after that we ended up getting into a gunfight. Uh, and you know, we were in a serious life and death situation. And some of those guys came back and said, hey, you know, do you have any more of those Bibles? Here are some fast facts about how the Military Bible Stick Project is touching American servicemen and women as they serve at home and around the world. 
The Military Bible Stick is a unique, compact audio device that contains an audio version of the New Testament of the Bible. Faith Comes by Hearing has given out hundreds of thousands of Military Bible Sticks to those serving in the armed forces. Military Bible Sticks are given away through chaplains and provided at their request. Faith Comes by Hearing has requests for many more Military Bible Sticks. Here's how you can support our troops and get God's words to them. If you would like to make a donation to provide Military Bible Sticks for our troops, call 1-800-800-2555 or go online at militarybiblestick.com. If you want to send your donation, mail it to Faith Comes by Hearing, 2421 Aztec Road Northeast, Albuquerque, New Mexico, 87107. They're under some serious fire. One of the men went down. They were uh, leaving the area. They were trying to get out. And one of the men went down. And this Marine went back to get a man that had been hit. And uh, as he went back to get him, he put him over his back and started running to the medevac helicopter. And as he's running this man that had been injured to the helicopter, he steps on an IED and it killed him. The man that he rescued lived. If the Marines would have an audio of the Bible, it would be great. Because what would happen is as they're listening, the Word of God would go into their hearts, in their minds, and who knows? We're not trying to convert anybody. What we're trying to do is give them this gift so they can hear the Word of God that brings comfort and brings peace and brings eternal life. No greater love has any man than to lay down his life for his friends. And this is what our guys and gals are doing. Our men and women are uniformed. They're, they're laying down their lives for people they don't even know. I've worked with the Navy Chaplain Corps for almost six years, and I've never seen anything like this. The requests have just poured in since the first one went out. Our training command is the stepping stone for 6,000 sailors, coasties, and Marines being deployed to war. The military Bible stick puts the Word of God in a format that this generation can connect to. We have hundreds of chaplains in the Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, National Guard, that are lined up saying, please, this is the most effective tool that we've seen that reaches a young generation. The people who will not walk around with a Bible in their hand, people who feel uncomfortable in many cases in an Islamic environment having a Bible will listen to the Word of God on these Bible sticks. Because this ministry is entirely ecumenical, there is no barriers to anybody that we would get the, the Word of God to. We have no, no doctrine in this ministry other than just the pure Word of God. And working through the chaplaincy exclusively, I think has, has taken care of any issues that we would have. I'm an Army chaplain, and our soldiers told me they never imagined a device like this. It's a walking Bible. It's so easy to carry this anytime and anywhere. I truly believe this little device can help soldiers cope and provide plenty of His wisdom for the best course of action in making decisions. Will you help us meet needs like this? We have thousands of requests and we want to meet them. Will you help make that happen? Each Bible stick costs $25 to produce and distribute. They're always given away at no cost to soldiers, seamen, airmen, and the National Guard. We all pray that our servicemen and women will return safely from protecting our country. But we can all do more than pray. We can help make sure that our military has more than the best in weapons. We can send them with spiritual equipment. I'm going to the chaplains, letting chaplains know that are getting ready to be deployed. Uh, the, the resources that you have available uh, to give to them, uh, they would appreciate it. Uh, to, to try to get something approved from the top is uh, more difficult. But when you work with individual chaplains, uh, it goes a little easier. It's hard to have time and introspect when you're deployed. 
like I am now. It's hard to focus on reading when you're living in group situations, but with a Bible stick, I can listen and I can hear God's Word. For some of these young men and women, this will be the only time somebody has seriously talked to them about what will happen to you if, heaven forbid, you should fall. Do you know you're going to heaven? Do you know what Jesus really said? And by providing a Bible stick, a soldier can find out for themselves exactly what Jesus said. I've been pretty exhausted at the end of each day, and I keep falling asleep while listening to God's Word. No worries, though. I can always find my place with the Bible stick, and I know God's Word ministers to me even while I'm falling asleep. We're getting stories about a chaplain having a chaplain uh, chapel service, and uh, he would announce these were available at the table, and he had a line for them, and they were gone in just minutes. He said, nobody has ever, they've never had that kind of interest. And so we began wondering, what is, what is God doing here? Well, I recommend uh, uh, this. I think it's a good, good idea. It's a great project. Uh, there's some, some young men and women out there that have had you know, nine, ten deployments. And uh, anything we can do to help them, because uh, they're, they're away from their homes, they're away from their families, they're away from their churches. Um, so this is a great idea and I support it. The need is so great and if we're not able to meet that need it just makes me want to go out there and get on a podium and start <laughs> talking to as many people as I can because I know how important it is. I know the value of that. I know that our troops need to have that Word of God and even some young soldiers that may not may not really know the Lord once they get that, they're going to they're gonna get a better feel as to what their purpose in life is. If every American would thank one soldier by giving $25 to, to give that soldier a military Bible stick and his family with an audio Bible, think of the impact that we could have on our military. I'd like to see us get more technology into the hands of our of our troops that is, uh, is, that is Bible-based, that helps them grow spiritually. We've gone beyond papyrus to parchment to paper. It's now time for electronic, and, and there is just so much potential in the future um, for improvement. I hope we just keep going. This is Ryan Dobson, and I hope you'll consider putting audio Bibles into the hands and hearts of American servicemen and women. Faith Comes by Hearing has given hundreds of thousands of military Bible sticks away through chaplains all over the world, and you can be a part of this very important project. They give their lives for this great country. You know, when our country has so many things to say against our troops, yet our troops have not only done their job, they've gone beyond their job. They're true Americans, true veterans, because of the job they've done you know, for themselves and this country. So I applaud these guys, man, and I thank God for them. We need this. We need not only to strengthen our, our nation, but our young soldiers that are going over there with these mixed messages about Christ and about Jesus. They need to have that word. This world is going to come to an end. All of us have, a, have an appointment with death. Every last one of us has an appointment with death. And let's just make sure that uh, when that day comes and uh, we take our last breath on earth, the next breath is going to be in heaven. Distributing, you know, the audio Bible to uh, men and women that are in the service is absolutely crucial. You know, in my own experience while I was overseas, I mean, this was the only edification. This was the only uh, word that I got to be able to just to have some headphones and something that could fit in your pocket and be able to plug it in and listen to uh, the scriptures. It was something that was uh, very fulfilling. I think the whole concept of the Bible sticks was a God-given idea. I think it was a divine inspiration for those to be made available to the troops. And, and the reality is, I don't even think they can produce enough of them. There's such a tremendous demand for them. They can't get them to these troops fast enough. Here are some fast facts about how the Military Bible Stick Project is touching American servicemen and women as they serve at home and around the world. The Military Bible Stick is a unique, compact audio device that contains an audio version of the New Testament of the Bible. Faith Comes by Hearing has given out hundreds of thousands of Military Bible Sticks to those serving in the armed forces. Military Bible Sticks are given away through chaplains and provided at their request. Faith Comes by Hearing has requests for many more Military Bible Sticks. 
Here's how you can support our troops and get God's words to them. If you would like to make a donation to provide military Bible sticks for our troops, call 1-800-800-2555 or go online at militarybiblestick.com. If you want to send your donation, mail it to Faith Comes By Hearing, 2421 Aztec Road Northeast, Albuquerque, New Mexico, 87107.